everyone you're watching radio fixes in this video i'm going to talk about how to fix windows update error 0x800 f0983 on your computer the windows update error 0x800 f0983 is commonly caused by a corrupted or incomplete component store a damaged update cache corrupted system files or missing language packs or conflicting update packages on your computer now there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved now to resolve this issue please make sure to follow each and every steps without any misses now the first step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and execute couple of commands to reset windows component to do this, you will have to go to the search window. In the search window, you may go ahead and type command prompt. You will see the best match for the command prompt. Do a right click and then click on run as administrator. When you're prompted, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Once you have this command prompt open, you will have to go to the video description and copy the command mentioned in the video description. Do a right click and copy the command. Go back to the command prompt window, do a control V or you can do a right click. It should automatically paste the command and execute the command by itself. You will have to wait until these commands are successfully executed. To make sure these commands are successfully executed, you may hit enter until you see the screen. Once this is done, the next command what you will have to go ahead and execute is for SFC and DISM scan. To do this, you will have to again copy the command from the video description and paste it here. This is the command to run an SFC scan. Once you have this command, you may go ahead and hit enter on your computer screen. Wait until the verification is complete and it is 100% complete. Once this command has been successfully executed, the next command what you will have to go ahead and execute is to run the DISM scan to restore health. You can do a right click and hit enter wait until this command has been successfully executed hit enter this will take about 5 to 10 minutes until the command has been successfully executed once this command has been successfully executed you may close this window the next step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and perform an in place upgrade to do this you will have to go to the media creation tool the microsoft media creation tool so you can open the browser and you can copy and paste the link from my video description which will take you to the windows 11 or windows 10 media creation tool once you are on this website you will have to scroll down until you locate download now look for create windows 11 installation media and then click on download now this will download an executable file on your computer once the media creation tool download is complete, you may double click on the file and you may click on yes. Once you execute this file, you would get an option which says getting few things ready. You would be prompted for the end users license agreement. You may go ahead and click on accept. Here you would be prompted to go ahead and select a language. You can choose the language and the edition and use the option which says use the recommended options for this PC and then click on next. In the next window, you may go ahead and choose which media to use. You can choose ISO file and then click on next. Now here you would be prompted you to select the path. You can go ahead and download this file in the downloads folder. Once the download is complete, it will take you to setup.exe on your computer. Double click on setup.exe. Now this will take about few minutes. Now in this window, you would be prompted you to, it would automatically choose keep the files on the computer, follow the steps and then click on next. And here it would take you to the window where you would say that it is installing update. Wait for the updates to be successfully installed on your computer. Now during this process, your computer might restart a couple of times. Wait until the updates are successfully installed. Once this is done, restart your computer, enter your username and password if you have a username and password for your Windows credential. Once you log in, then you may go ahead and click on, do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on the settings, 
you can go to the windows update and then click on check for the updates make sure you can once you click on check for the updates if there are any updates to be installed go ahead and install those updates and that should fix the problem now in spite of trying all this step if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with a possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day